Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. We interrupt this broadcast to deliver to you breaking news. Former chief of staff of a GOP state senator in a, gets in a road rage incident, rams his BMW into the Prius on the driver's door, and then begins pushing the car sideways. And then he shoots a gun at the white Prius. The Prius driver draws a gun and fires back and fucking kills him. A Talanasty road rage incident. This man also was arrested for a separate road rage incident at the same intersection in 2014. Oh my God, dude. Talk about a fucking good guy with a gun once and for all, dude. This is like the ultimate story. BMW drivers get fucked. Okay. Prius drivers on top, saving the environment in both ways, not even in one, but two separate ways, even though Prius drivers are trying to dog shit too. Oh my God, dude. This is the most talent nasty story on the planet. I swear to God, Florida is just like a different planet. I drive a BMW Sag. Well, don't drive it like a fucking normal BMW driver then. That's awesome. Turns out, yeah, I'm, I'm pro gun rights. More gun rights for Florida, I think. I mean, this is Florida, by the way. It is a stand your ground state so obviously fucking castle doctrine state extends to all leon county sheriff's office took one person to custody after the january 6th events however that person has since been released no charges have been filed wait what the office issued an initial statement reporting a fatal shooting that occurred last thursday shortly after 5 p.m near the intersection Following an altercation there are conflicting reports about what happened though it appears that the events escalated to a fatal violence following a traffic incident Source familiar with the details in the investigation told Florida politics that Kujwanski apparently caused the auto incident that began the chain of events and that he began to the shootout that led to his own death. Get fucked, dude. Fuck around and find out. Oh, my Lord. Oh, that's awesome. What a great story. Yeah, Florida, PVP enabled all the time. You know this. I would love to see footage of this, by the way. This is fucking hilarious. The sources said the incident began after uh, Kujwanski's BMW drifted out of its lane while heading north on Thomasville Road, and it hit a white Prius. Both cars pulled into a parking lot. The driver of the Prius confronted Kujwanski about hitting him. The Prius driver got in his car to wait for law enforcement after confronting Kujwanski. That is when, according to Florida politics sources, Kujwanski rammed his BMW into the Prius on the driver's door and began pushing the car sideways in the parking lot. Kujwanski then shot a gun at the white Prius. According to the sources, the Prius driver drew a gun and fired back into the windshield of Kujwanski's BMW. He was hit and killed. According to the sources, get fucked. Oh my God, dude. By the way, this is like, you know, just the most normal, least aggressive uh, American day, by the way. Just the most normal day in Florida. However, Kuchwanski's wife, Rebecca Kuchwanski, said on Twitter that her husband was a victim and confirmed he lost his life. She claimed that he was trapped and assassinated, was trying to escape the person shooting at him. Yeah, okay, dude. He was on his way home early for us to, for, early to pick us up for a farewell dinner for our daughter. He called to say he was on his way to beat traffic. He was excited for dinner and to see us. He told us he loved us and then never came home. Our whole lives are shattered. The incident took place less than two miles away from his house. He leaves his wife behind and two children. Uh, he was a quiet fellow. Everything in his world was about his family. He pleaded no contest to an assault and disorderly conduct charge in 2014 related to a separate road rage incident at the same intersection. Oh my God. The final tweet on his, oh dude. Oh, that's the cherry. That's the meringue, uh, cherry or whatever the fuck it's called on the top of this, this ice cream Sunday. The final tweet on his Twitter account, an announcement that he had entered an online raffle for a firearm worth $5,000 was posted on December 9th.
what is it called? Uh, Maraschino, Maraschino, whatever. Bro, I love that, dude. Win the logo, arms, alien pistol. See, if he had only won that arms, he probably still would have gotten fucking killed because none of these dickheads even know how to shoot for shit.